Why care about why? Why wouldn't what be good enough? So an example is Mike has lots of, lots of cases in which he's been able to identify uh, people who are dumping uh, oil illegally, like uh, uh, grease, cooking, cooking, yeah. cooking oil, thank you, cooking oil illegally. He's been able to identify uh, uh, pharmacies that are selling uh, 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 dr prescription drugs illegally, not by looking for the why, but for the what. Mike, why don't you give one or two examples of what you've been doing, and then let's have this conversation over the why versus the what in big so, data. I mean, the, the two correlates, you the two correlate analyses you just you mentioned, right? One had to do with we have twenty some odd thousand restaurants in New York City, uh, licensed restaurants, and you know <laughs> that <clears throat> we and it's excluding trucks and all that stuff, right? Um, and then we have a bunch of catch basin drains, and every restaurant generates grease, and they if they don't have a license with a regulated hauler, then that grease ends up in the drain and it clogs the pipes and it causes all kinds of headaches. So, you know, we just did a basic correlate analysis. If a, if a location had a clogged catch basin uh, near it and did not have a regulated hauler, that for us told us to target that location above another location for enforcement action. It was extremely effective. Um, the other example was for oxycontin and oxycodone. Uh, a rising problem in the rest of the country, fortunately not as, as, as much in New York City yet, but we're trying to get ahead of it uh, to a certain degree. And we simply did a basic analysis of, of, of all of our pharmacies, about you know 2,200 of them or so, and, or 2,150, and then we identified about 20 of them that represented you know, about 90% of our, of our oxycodone distributions, at least for in, in its most pure form. Uh, and then just using that metric, right, knowing nothing else, as a targeting mechanism um, to allocate our audits, our, our, our Medicaid reimbursement audits, right? So those two things, we didn't really dive into the why at all. We just kind of used it directionally. Um, we wanted to identify out of this ocean of possibilities what what was the narrow wedge of, of that universe that we should be allocating our enforcement or, or just even uh, question asking resources towards, right? So that, for us, was less, it, we really didn't care about cause at all. And, and honestly, if I were to try and dive into cause on anything I work on, it would be a miserable failure. I, I don't, the only thing I really, I, I have subject matter expertise in outside of, you know, was, was like stuff having to do with Saddam's trial in Iraq or, you know, mostly law enforcement related, right? That's where my subject matter expertise really lies. Um, we look into things that have really very little to do with law enforcement now. Um, I rely on the experts, the subject matter experts in their domains to tell me what those bad things and or good things look like. And then we try and replicate that in the data for correlate analysis purposes. But I don't, I, I really don't, I, I, I don't have the background to get into cause.